Creating a business logo in BES lettering software brought to you by Chuck Bruce of Central Valley Vacuum and Sewing Center in Madera, California. www.cvvsc.com Utilizing built-in features of the BES lettering software, we'll show you a quick little demonstration. Begin by clicking with your left mouse, Add Design. With the drop-down menu, Add Accent Design. You'll now find in your Properties tab an Accent Design. If you left-click there, you'll have a drop-down menu. We're going to select Design number 12. Left-click, come back to your main screen, and left-click. Now, we're going to select All. Go to the Arrange tab and Center, and we're going to change the size. That's done in the Properties window under Transform. We're going to select Absolute and change our height to 1.97. And Apply. The next step is going back to our home menu, selecting the circle font option, left clicking, and we're utilizing the Hortons font. You can select the Hortons font by left clicking on your fonts and in the drop down menu they're listed alphabetically. Select Hortons and you'll notice that we have two text features, upper text and lower text. For upper text, we're going to type Schaefer. And for lower text, Floral Shop. Now for this particular logo, I want my font size to be a half inch tall. So right here under Height, we will change that to 0.5 and Apply. Now I would like to change the color of the Schaefer Floral Shop and we do that simply by going to this little icon at the top the toolbar, left click, and type in the color that we would like to use. I'm going to use blue today and find. Then select the blue and the font color is changed. Just as a tip, you can also type in thread color numbers in this thread search. So either color number or color. With the orange tab, we are going to drag this down to the size that fits nicely around that flower. And we're complete. To save this design, Go to the Pace Setter BES Lettering Logo tab, left click, Save As, and name your design and save as a Pace Setter Outline BRF file. That's the file that we can import back in to work on if we're not happy with our finished results. After complete, use your drop down menu and select the format that you choose to sew in and save. We would like to thank you for watching this video of creating a business logo in BES lettering software.